go on. Oh my god, I'm super excited. So I'm actually vlogging from my new car. Like, I am super excited, guys. I just woke up. Oh, the lighting is really bad. Okay, it's Tuesday morning. I am on my way to the gym and I'm vlogging from my new car. My face is a bit puffy and stuff because again, I just woke up, but I'm super, super excited. I'm so happy. Ugh, I can't even begin to explain to you guys and tell you guys how much like this was such a, it was like a dreadful process. It was a really dreadful process because um, I'll show you guys the exterior in a bit, but um, it was really a dreadful process because, hey, first of all, I'm a girl. I'm single. And so I don't really have a man to help me out with those things. And my dad used to be able to help me out with these things, but my dad is getting a bit like, you know, he's older and he doesn't have the energy to do that. So I'm really like, I was all on my own doing this. I do not have a man. I do not have like, you know, nobody around me that knows like really cars that well. So I was just like all on my own trying to figure out if this was the best car, if the engine was good, if the kilometers per year were good i mean there's so many things that i had to deal with that i'll be honest with you i'm a smart lady i'm really intelligent but it's not something that i feel like i want to learn like i don't want to learn about cars i do not want to learn about like engines or anything like that i feel like you know eventually when i get married i feel like my man will be able to take care of these things but just to say that i had to deal with all of this and honestly it's been a really long process i feel like it's been like a year a, around a year that i've been wanting a new car but i've been like really overthinking and like literally just getting, getting anxiety about like the process and i finally went through with it because i wanted to make myself happy and it wasn't easy i did it but it wasn't easy like i'm super glad i did it so i got the audi q5 sports back in white um it's super cute i cannot wait to show you the exterior it's like a mini suv because i previously had a honda civic and my honda was really really low and again because i live in uh montreal canada you know like a higher car is better especially in the snow one thing that i miss from my honda and apparently only honda has it and honestly people that do not have hondas do not know how like amazing that feature is but i had a feature for my right turn so when i turned right like i had a camera for my right turn so it would show me i wouldn't have to turn around like this like i would just have it on the screen which was the best thing ever and i remember once once i first went to audi um they asked me like what is the feature you still want to have in your car and i'm just like well honestly the only thing that i really really want is that right camera and he's like yeah no only honda has this i'm like what i'm so happy i made myself happy and honestly i'm super grateful too because it's not everybody that can even get a car right so the fact that i'm getting like a cute car a car that i love i need to thank the universe i'm just a bit more a bit more grateful today than any other days that's what i meant but that's that i want to get like you know um organizations for my car i want to get like you know basic things that i need for my car so let me know if like i don't know maybe i what do i need in my car i know i, I know i need like you know uh, napkins and stuff and towels to wipe it just something to keep it clean and just like i know i'm probably gonna need like you know like a makeup type of bag in here i didn't have it in my other car because i don't know i just didn't feel like putting the effort in my other car but now that it's a new car new car new me new era <laughs> then i have to go back home super quickly after that shower and then get ready for my nails appointment which is at 11 30. this is my car it's an audi q5 this is what my car looks like everything is like all blacked out it's called like the s line s line um edition edition i guess or so we'll just go into the car This is how it looks. This is how it looks here. Cup holders. 
Anyways, I mean, it's the basic car, and then you have my panoramic sun top or sunroof. I'm not sure how you call that. And this is the back, everything leather. I am so happy. It's a bit later during the day. I'm on my way to my nails appointment and obviously I'm super late. I feel like I used to be such a um, punctual person, like very punctual and always on time. And like the past few months have been like a disaster. It's literally 11.10. My appointment is at 11.30 and I literally um, just left my house and it's 35 minutes away. So for sure I'm going to be late. Uh, um, I'm actually also going to be going to the gym a bit later on with my girl because when I go to the gym by myself all I do is cardio like I feel more comfortable doing cardio and it's just like I guess it's just easier and initially I really wanted to lose weight but I guess because I got used to doing so much cardio um, I don't know I feel like like lifting and just doing weight and stuff I don't know I feel like I'll just do better with like a girl like like a friend with me so it's a bit more fun to do it with somebody so I'm just gonna go to the gym later on with my girl um, I didn't eat anything as well I'm literally starving like I am starving it's insane I don't know what I'm gonna eat so I have the salad place it's called Milano's that I go usually all the time but I ate some yesterday so I'm just like should I eat some again today and it's right next to the nails place um, maybe I'll eat it right after I don't know about you guys but I feel like that feel like my all black interior suits me so well like I love my new car thank you Jesus thank you the universe ah, I am grateful Yvonne what are we doing today so I don't want to do French today because I've been doing French like two yeah. times in a row, so I have to change, but I don't know Just what to color? do. color? Yeah, but what color? My board. Okay. For sure, man, but I don't know if you like it or not. So, do you have something yeah, like, do you have something like chrome? But do you think it would be cute on me? Why not? This is big pain. Or there's something like this? What do you think? Mm. I'm scared. No, this one really? Okay, I'll try it. Okay. Okay, I'll think about it. Oh, okay. Just like the same, yes, a bit shorter. The same length that it was because I'm in love with the length. The day of my coming. Huh? You're gonna let you leave me. Can I get a large steak salad? Okay. Can I replace the salad with mixed greens? Yeah. Um, can I also get some mayo? Inside or on the side? Inside, please. Okay. And some bocconcini. Okay. And hot peppers as well. For Farah? <laughs> yeah, for Farah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Farrah. Thank you. Bye. Okay. How weird is that? Okay. 
I just ordered a salad from Milano's and the guy already knew my name. I think I go there too often. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, shit. I think I go there too often and I need to start cooking for myself. Guys, I just got my nails done. See, I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's like, honestly, it's like this OPI color. It's borderline transparent, but there's like shimmer glitter in it. This is what it's looking like. The shape is to die for clearly. Um, with my laser it's actually a good friend of mine that does it for me and um, I've just I mean she's super busy so I kind of like you know I don't want to take up her place and I just have to I, anyways I just I've just been really slacking she's been going on vacation and stuff and I have been on, going on vacation too so this is the only time that we found um, to do it so I'm on my way there right now and obviously I'm running late so I'm trying to like catch up the time I am super hungry I'm probably gonna get like a salad from um, this place I totally forgot the name oh it's like this Mediterranean um, restaurant right next to her salon but literally I remember why I loved going there and why I stopped going there and it was really good but it was super expensive like a $40 salad because I like halloumi and chicken in my salad and it just literally cost me $40 last time I went so I was just like I'm never going there again but I feel like I'm just craving this right now and I'm super hungry I haven't eaten since last night I'm kind of fasting I fast uh, like I try to do it maybe two or three days out of the week so I just don't eat from eight to like one just you know I kind of like I feel like it's good for my health and I feel like you know helps keep like it helps maintaining my weight my girl we're gonna go to dinner to the new terrace at Emmanuel so I'm like actually waiting for her she's supposed to come down I don't even like bother to like switch up my makeup I just did a little touch up this is what it's looking like I changed my outfit this top that I got from Zara and that's that we're obviously gonna be late so I did my laser leer and I'm sorry I couldn't film because um, my lash my my laser tech wasn't really comfortable with it and I you know I, I respect that so and she's like maybe next time so I'm just like okay 
this is honestly the best powder I recently bought this is the Maybelline fit me powder it's like I believe this is a pressed powder and I love it Hello, babe. Hello. They good? You know the things that you have to say, lah. I'm good. 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 I'm parce que le mien pour mon... refléter non parce que tu sais le mien dans ma anda c'était comme genre gris ça veut dire que tout en haut c'était comme à cause de comme genre mon make-up mm -hmm. c'était tout comme genre tu sais t'as fait du make-up peut-être genre ah uh -huh. ouais là ben là maintenant c'est ça là c'est plus t'as fait que tu mets pas de traces de doigts genre ouais, exactement mm -hmm. hey babes today we're Saturday um I'm actually I got my makeup done today. I look super cute. My makeup looks really cute, like a really like soft glam. So right now I'm on my way to Sephora because I really want to get the new makeup by Mario concealer. Honestly, I love his foundation. I love his contour stick, like his makeups, like the products that he does are so bomb that I have to get the like, um, concealer that I want to get the concealer before it's sold out so this is what I'm on my way to do I'm gonna be coming back home and film some haul as well like you probably will see it before this video or after I can't remember but you'll see it within and then maybe tonight I'll be going out with my girls I'm not sure yet so this is the plan for today um it's kind of grayish outside I could have literally brought a jacket it's um 20 degrees celsius it's really cold like it is it is not hot I have to turn this off oops I just got in from Sephora so I just got in from Sephora obviously I went for like a concealer and I came out with five products so I'll share with you guys what I got. So I got these two concealers from Makeup by Mario, the concealers that I wanted to get. The Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer um, in the shades 380 and 560. So there's one that's my skin tone and there's another one that's lighter because I like, um, I like when I have like, like a concealer, a one that's like my skin tone and a lighter one. Like I love the combo. I, I, I love the combo and I feel like, you know, this is how my makeup looks best. I also got the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow um, Mascara. So I've heard such good things and I... As you guys know, I used to be a lash topic girl. Like I used to get indiv individual lashes every week. And then I stopped it because I really like the natural look of my um, makeup with no lash or little to no lash. So this is what I got. So this ha adds a lot of volume. Then I got this nude lip gloss from Sephora in the shade XXL Nude. Super cute. It's very nude. I feel like it could be worn every day and I love a good lip gloss. Now I also got this Olaplex product. So it's the number three repairs and strength all hair types. Apparently it's called the Olaplex Hair Perfector. Apparently it it's really good for the hair. It was $40 for this little bottle, but I'm guessing a little goes a long way. I mean, hopefully, because this was literally $40. So this is what I got at Sephora. So I went in for like two concealers and this is what I came out with. Hey guys, oh my God, there's something. I feel like my face is like swollen or something. I don't know what's going on. But today we're Tuesday. It's 7.30. I'm on my way to the gym. Babes, I feel like sharing this with you because I'm about to break down. But like, I'm just really discouraged and very... I'm just disappointed. So we applied for an apartment in LA. 
as you all know my search for like an ap amazing apartment has been literally hell and um we got denied and the reason why we got denied is because the landlord or the owner of the place um he's nervous about people being out of the country being from out of the country like what honestly i think it's very ignorant from coming from him i'm not sure like you know be like it's not like as if you won't give the security deposit it's not like as if you know like we all have like we have a good credit like i have a good credit guys i feel like my face is so swollen oof don't judge me on this but yeah so it's just like um he's nervous about be people being from out of the country and it was this super cute place i am so disappointed and i feel like as if we're the first people from like i'm the first person from out of a country to move to another to the united states like make it make sense uh i don't know i feel like i'm just really like today we're what august 22nd we're already at the end of at the end of august i was planning to move for like the beginning of september for like so i, I wanted to move for like september 1st and it's just more and more looking like October and I'm just really sad about it. I'm really sad about it because I just wanted to, like in a way kind of like it's okay because I'm just noticing that I would be missing all of my like, you know, um, girlfriend's birthdays if I would have left for September, but like still, you know, I feel like I just want to answer and it's just a never ending tiring process. I'm on my way to the gym. My girlfriend Jessica is meeting me there. She actually, she's the one that just had a baby. So it's like, actually we went yesterday as well. So she's just like getting back in it, like at it, at the gym. We used to always go to the gym together. Hello. It's now 1.30. I'm on my way to lunch with Jessica and her little sister. We're gonna go to Bouchery Le Hain. So Bouchery Le Hain is just like, yeah, no, it's not like a butcher shop. So yes, it is, but it's like a cute butcher shop. And they have like a restaurant right next, like on the terrace, on the patio. And the food is amazing. The food is so good. And it's something that, you know, the people that lives on the, north shore of montreal we like to go to so um if you know you know we're going to boucherie le hen right now uh, i got i did i actually washed my hair it was long overdue i had like because i do a bun every day normally no i don't need to wash my hair as often but because i do a bun every day and i put gel and products like my hair obviously gets dirty way more faster than usual so um i that's what i did so i washed my hair and then um i also got this hair perfecter product from olaplex i believe i got it um at sephora my hairdresser told me to try it i did try it and i felt like after it like it's just this pre-condition pre-shampoo type of um product basically so you leave it on your hair for like 10 minutes before washing your hair and that's what I did and I felt like my hair was a bit softer afterwards but we'll see in the long run um, how does it do. For sure it's softer than usual because I'm a per I relax my hair so because I relax my hair I've been doing it for like the past years because of that like um, my hair is super like it's breaking off like honestly it's super dry breaking out no matter what I do um and so i felt like that product sort of like you know made it softer so that's good we'll see how it does in the long term i'll update you guys with that a genius idea to like oh my god there's people that are walking by and i'm pretty sure my light is like blinding them but this is that i wanted to show you guys like how it looked tonight so tonight we're going to Il Cortil so it's this restaurant in downtown Montreal it has like a little cute terrace but like um like it started raining like an hour ago so I'm not sure if the terrace is still open so we'll see about that and we were initially supposed to be two 
but then we ended up being four on the reservation i try to change it online and they're just not letting me so i'm just like hopefully they're just still gonna accept us <laughs> There is so much traffic. Oh my god. What's up guys? I am on my way to the gym. It's currently 7.44. I was supposed to be there at 7.45 and I'm still 20 minutes away. I don't understand what's going on. I think I took the wrong... Like, normally this road that I take, um, it's super like fast, but now it's just there's so much traffic. I'm just even wondering whether I should like do a U-turn or something. I think there's it's because there's a school there. Anyways, so I'm probably gonna be late to the gym. I have to call my friend to see like at what time is she gonna get there for. And then I just realized that I have an appointment for my petty at 10. But normally my appointment for my petties are like at 12. So I thought I still had time after the gym to go home and like, you know, take my time and change. But I do not. I literally have, I don't even know how I'm going to make this. It's really raining like crazy today. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'll, I'm not mad at it. I like got up this morning and when I went out my house, I like took a deep breath and I was just like, oh, fresh air. No, not humid, not anything. So that definitely felt good. Honestly, I haven't been vlogging. I traveled, I went to New York, and um, I'm not used to vlogging yet. So whenever I went to New York, I didn't really vlog. I guess I had my camera, but I didn't vlog because I wasn't used to it, and I didn't want to impose it on my friend either. And you know, whenever you have your camera, you have to like commit to having your camera the entire day. And it's just a commitment that I think I wasn't really ready for because I didn't have a purse that fitted it. Hold on, I have to call her. Oui, oh mon dieu, je suis pognée dans un trafic à côté de chez nous. Ça fait comme 10 minutes. Je pense que comme. Hey, j'arrive pas live. Là. Ça, ça te dit combien de temps dans ton GPS? J'ai même pas mis mon GPS. Attends, laisse-moi mettre live. Lord of mercy, these parking spots are so tight. Oh. I just got done with the gym. It wasn't really like a full on gym session because um, I have to go to my nail appointment and I really don't want to be late. The weather is just, it's really depressing. Um, oh no, I totally forgot my thing was broken. So it's just a bit harder. I have to hold it every time I do it. I need to buy a new one. So I really need to get ready. So I'm now getting ready for my dinner tonight. I'm super excited. Honestly, I've been like thinking about eating at this restaurant for like the past week. So honestly, hopefully it's worth the hype because it was it went viral on TikTok. So you know how that goes. It's like hit or miss. So hopefully it like lives up to the hype. Um, so I thought that I would just like cramp my hair, just give myself a little boost. I've been wearing my hair straight for like, for like the past couple of days. So, but because I just washed my hair, I don't know if, if you guys do that, but because I just washed my hair, I do not want to put any spray, like holding spray or else it's going to get sticky. I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it like that. And hopefully it just, or actually I'm just going to put minimal setting spray. I just don't want to have to wash them again though because they're so soft and bouncy and I love them like that so my brother's calling me hello 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 wait well so today we're Friday. I'm on my way to get my eyebrows threaded, not waxed, threaded. <laughs> I'm on my way to get that done because I feel like they're so overdue. And I feel like whenever I get like my eyebrows done, like my makeup looks a bit more crisp, sort of. So I want to get that done. And then um, I don't really have any plans for tonight. Maybe just go to the gym. Yesterday I went out. I kind of filmed a little bit for you. 
for you guys but um i know it was super dark inside of the restaurant so we couldn't see anything we went to the casino and review is 10 10 everything was super good um it was actually delicious um so we had like so many pastas we had entrees honestly tonight i feel like like maybe just do something casual restaurant and just chill i feel like i kind of I'm, I'm like it's friday so let's just go out but yesterday i went like out so crazy and i came like you know i went out out you know i was out we went to this bar after, after that we went to another bar so it's just like yesterday i really went out and i like woke up at nine this morning and to, for me it's super late normally i wake up at six so i woke up at nine so i feel like just taking it like you know like i have a chill relaxing night tonight we'll see I'm getting my eyebrows done. I'm just like anticipating the f pain that this lady will inflict me, but it's okay. It's all for the greater good. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Hi. Yes, please. Oui, merci. Vous avez rempli un formulaire en ligne pour lequel filtrage à la maison? 